Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to a toast to the man with your boy SD Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, subscribe, hit that like button. Let's get into it. Today's topic is how to market your book. I get asked this question a lot of times, how to market, how to sell your book. And so I decided to make a video about it. Now I preface my suggestions by saying you have to do what fits your personality, what fits your budget and what comes natural to you. Now you can uh, take my suggestions because they have been tried and they've worked, but if it doesn't fit your budget, your personality doesn't come natural to you, it's really not gonna sell, it's not gonna come off organic and real, and so people are not really gonna buy into you. So let's get into it. The first thing I did before I started writing my book was I made a post on Facebook announcing that I was writing a book, I gave the title, and I gave a publication date when it was gonna come out. Now, I did that for a couple of reasons, but I got criticized by a couple of people in my circle about that because their logic was why would you give a release date when you haven't even started on the book and you don't even know if you're going to complete the book which I can understand because most people who write books or start on a book don't complete the book and this is what, you know, these two people who criticized me uh, had come across throughout their life. People that had began writing books, never completed the book. But I know me. This goes back to what I said. You got to do what fits your personality. I know me. I know I have to hold myself accountable. And I like people to hold me accountable. So I knew... If I told myself, I'm going to write a book, and even if I began writing that book, if no one knew, there's a chance I may put it off. I may not write a few days. I may not write a few months, and then it turns into years, and then the book is never completed, never comes out. But I know me. <clears throat> I know if I tell someone I'm going to do something, I don't want to come off as a liar, as a big talker, as a fake. I know I'm gonna own up to my word. So I knew that, that's me, that's not everybody. Everybody's different. So that's why I announced to Facebook that I was writing a book and I gave a release date to hold myself accountable and to keep me on point. Now, I ended up having to push that release date out because I underestimated what it takes to edit a book. Yeah, writing it wasn't that difficult for me. Uh, that comes natural. But the editing process took a while. I underestimated that portion of the process. So uh, I pushed the release date out maybe three months, which isn't bad, my first book. Now, when I started writing the book, I would bring my audience Facebook along for the ride, along for the journey. IG also. I don't think I was on YouTube then, but I was definitely on Facebook and I had just started an IG page. So I would bring them all along for the ride, meaning every Wednesday, every Wednesday, like clockwork, at the same time, I would post excerpts from the book to, to Facebook. 
nice excerpts, the meaty, the good part, part of the writing of the book, I would post every Wednesday at the same time. It got to a point that one day, one week I missed a Wednesday. I was gonna do it the next day because I got busy. So I said, well, I'll do it Thursday, <clears throat> this particular week. Three people messaged me. It's like, hey man, where are the excerpts? Where, where's the post? They were looking forward to me posting these excerpts. They were looking forward to the book because a lot of people don't know people that have written a book and most people don't take you through the process with them of writing a book. So that was another marketing strategy. First marketing strategy, I let the people know I was gonna write a book. Second one, I took them along for the ride, along with the journey with me. Posted an excerpt every Wednesday at the same time for a whole year. It took me a year to write the book. <clears throat> so I did this for a whole year consistently, 52 weeks. Every week, man, I posted an excerpt. Great marketing strategy. Now, what else did I do? I had a book release party. Now, I had two. I had a soft book release party. And these were for people who had pre-ordered the book. Before it even came out, they pre-ordered. I took 12 people, I took the tw first 12 people that pre-ordered my book out to brunch on me, free of charge, on me. And I posted pictures. Hey, this is getting people engaged. This is marketing. So yes, you're going to have to spend some money. Well, you don't have to. I spent some money. I invested back in myself for marketing. That's a marketing technique took these people out, they spread the word, they're engaged, they're excited, right? They spread the word. Not only that, I post pictures. I tag these people. They have Facebook friends. The people watching these posts and these pictures, they feel the energy. They look at the excitement. They get excited. They're curious about the book. It's marketing. Then I had a countdown, a three-month countdown to my hard release party, my hard uh, book release party. There's a three month countdown. Everyone's invited. I made it a big event. Everyone's invited. I prepared for this thing three months out. I engaged the community. It was a, it was a party that I organized. I hired bartenders that I knew that I had a relationship with. They have relationships with other people. I highlighted my bartenders on Facebook. Who were gonna be, I, I let the Facebook know who were gonna be my bartenders and I tagged these people. I tagged my bartenders. So they have followers, they have Facebook friends. I made it a big deal. I, uh, although I live in one city, I had the book release party in the city I grew up in, which is maybe 15 minutes away from where I currently live. So I engaged my old neighborhood, my old friends, my old classmates. And I also engage the city where I currently reside. It's another marketing tool. Everybody that the restaurant where I had the book release party at was an old classmate and friend of mine. The person who decorated my event was an old classmate and friend of mine. All right? So I'm engaging the DJ, old classmate, old friend of mine. Had a big show, a big showing. People came out to support, people were engaged, right? But I'm not only marketing and advertising for that book, this is also, I'm laying the groundwork for future endeavors, my books to come, right? I'm not just thinking at the moment. I'm thinking three, four steps ahead. So imagine when the next book comes out, what kind of engagement I'm going to have, what kind of kind of support I'm going to have. So this is all marketing, right? So let's go back. I made the announcement on social media that I was coming out with a book, right? 
posted an excerpt on Facebook and IG every week for 52 weeks. I had a soft book release party, a brunch for my first 12 supporters. The first 12 people that purchased the book, pre-ordered the book, I showed my appreciation to them by taking them out to brunch. The next step was my hard book release party. I engaged the community. Not only did I engage the community, I had a nice rollout. I made a huge event. It was the event, the, the marketing was huger than the actual event. But I made, when I marketed and advertised, I made it look like, hey, this is not an event you want to miss. I did the countdown, three-month countdown. I involved the community. I involved people I had relationships with, past and present. And I got them involved, and I tagged these people in the post. I had people show up to that party that I had never met. Never met at all. Uh, they came across me because of a friend I knew or they saw it on Facebook and they wanted to support but I, I didn't know these people personally that's all marketing next always have books on you always you have to have books on you. I don't care if you carry a backpack with you, a briefcase with you, or you keep books in a nice container, a nice bag in your trunk of your car. Always have books on you. It's nothing worse than for you to tell someone you've written a book and you don't have any books on you. Now, it's okay to point people in the direction of the website where they can get your book. But if you got books on you, it sends a loud message that you're serious, that this is real, you're not just talk. And you can get that money right there. They'll hand you money right there and cash money in your hand. Prime example. And by the way, I give away a lot of books also. That's another marketing tool. I give a lot of I give away a lot of books. Um, I went to uh, Cigar International. I smoke cigars. I went to Cigar International about three months ago. And I just so happened to be sitting at a table, this long table, with a fraternity. I believe they were Omega. We got into conversation about different things. We're smoking cigars. And I asked these guys, hey, are you guys readers? And I'm like, yeah. I said, well, hey, I've written a book. This is the title. This is what it's about. Uh, this is what motivated the book, the writing of the book. I, I said, man, I'd like to uh, bless you guys, give you guys a book. So I went to my car, retrieved a couple of books, brought them back, Gave them to them, All right? I asked these guys, hey, um, write a review, if you don't mind, on Amazon. Post it on Facebook. There you go. A week ago, I go to an establishment to have a few drinks. I'm on the patio. I see a lady and uh, she sees me and she goes, you're the guy that wrote that book. I said, yeah, I did write a book. She goes, yeah, my daughter posted pictures of your book release party. She was at that party. And uh, I said, who's your daughter? So she tells me her name. And I go, yeah, I, I wrote that book. Now this woman is with two other women. And so they asked me, so what is the book about? I tell them what the book is about. What motivated you to write the book, they ask. I tell them that. So, be able to explain and articulate your book. 
smoothly. Like you have to be able to articulate what your book is about and what motivated you to write the book in one paragraph. Paragraph is five to seven sentences. You have to be able to do that smoothly without any hiccups. Be able to tell someone what your book is about and what motivated you to write your book. These women said, I had never met, these women said, we want a book. All three want, want, want a book each, a book of peace. So I said, I'm gonna give you ladies some books. I go to my car, pull out books. Always keep books on you. I come back, I'm gonna give them the books. They're like, oh no, we wanna pay for these. We wanna sow a seed in your life. You have a hell of a story. We wanna bless you. We want that to rub off on us. I go, okay. Hey man, we go on, I made $60 right there and there. I charge $20 a book. I made $60 within 15 minutes from strangers. Then I go on to tell them about my next book. I explain that. I explain what it's about, what motivated this book, me writing this book, the next book, and where it's headed, and, and my, my vision for it. They're excited about that book. It's not even complete yet. One of the ladies said, before they came across me, they were just discussing about her wanting to write a book. Five minutes before they ran into me, they were having a discussion about her writing a book. Now she wants me to help write her book. All right? Marketing. Marketing. Another thing, you have to look the part, meaning whatever your book is about, you have to look that part. To an extent, uh, my book is titled A Toast to the Men. Not a certain kind of man, but a toast to the man. So me, I'm always uh, clean cut. I'm always dressed nicely. Whether I have on a t-shirt, or tennis shoes, a button down, um, sweater. I'm always clean cut, nice, nicely dressed. Nails manicured. Hey. Like, I'm always fitting apart so you can believe, yes, he could be an author. He could be a published writer, right? I want them to take me seriously. Now, if I say I'm an author and my pants are sagging and my hair is untamed, and you know, I look dried up. I don't look fresh. Right? It is possible that person could write a book. But people judge people. People judge people. So are they gonna take the book seriously? Are they gonna take you seriously as a writer, as a published writer? They're automatically gonna think, man, there's gonna be some double negatives in this book. Right, they're gonna they're gonna be uh, some some misprints. The editing is gonna be bad. They're gonna automatically think like this because the way you look, they don't associate or tie in into being a published writer. They're not gonna take you seriously. That's part of marketing. Your outside appearance is part of marketing, also. Right. The way you speak is part of marketing. Always be aware that people are listening. So you could be engaged in a conversation with one person about your book, or not even just about your book, just in conversation about anything. 
someone else is listening. They're judging you. They're gauging you. Always know someone's listening. Someone's watching. That's all part of marketing. That's all part of selling yourself. How you present yourself. All right? So these are a few keys I used in marketing my book. My book does well online. My book does well with hand-to-hand uh, -hand, uh, transactions. I'm telling you, I don't even look for sales. They just come upon me. People hear that I'm a writer. They hear that I published a book, and they come up to me and start talking about it. Or I may tell them I wrote a book and I'm so passionate when I'm explaining what the book is about and what motivated the book <clears throat> that they're like, I need that book. Men and women. Men and women, man. I've been in spots where I've made over $100 just talking about my book. It was not planned. Just talking about my book and people are engaged and then another person comes up and another person comes up because they hear the conversation and they see they see and feel the passion that's coming off of me. They're like, I got to get this book. I got to support this man. So um, I went through my own publishing company, Grambling Grove Publishing, um, because... Nobody's going to work for me like I work for myself. No, but no one's going to push me like I push myself. No one's going to market me like I could market myself. So I'd rather have that responsibility. I'd rather have control of those reins over my life, over my book. And uh, so that's the route I went. And so uh, I trust me more than I trust anyone else. So I know it's going to be, it'd be a bit different if you go through an outside publishing company. Uh, with social media, you know, and it being your first book, I, you know, it's your choice, though. I decided to uh, do my own thing. Uh, my next book, I may go to a big publishing company, but uh, I'll tell you what, man, those terms are, are going to be fair and favorable uh, to both of us. So, uh, yeah, those are my, my tips on how to market your book. Have faith in yourself. Be confident. And, uh, yeah, rewind this video, man. And uh, I promise you, it works. These tips work. It works, it works for me. It works for me now. And I'm on to the next book. And I'm still selling my first book, A Toast to the Man. All right. God bless. Peace.